here is the picture um, in detail. As you can see upon closer inspection, there's a lot of uh, finite and faulty. When you consider how I coloured it in, it is impossible for the outcome to be like this. You must agree. No one can colour in a painting like I have in just 10 to 15 minutes and end up with a result like this. It's almost like a stained glass window. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. When you put the negative light on, or black light, it becomes uh, 4D, pops out, but holographic in nature, some, in some parts. I say holographic because certain spectrums of light pop out, and a specific feature from the painting will pop out solely shining almost gleaming out, out off the plate of the page <coughs> you know excuse me look at the detail guys I mean you know you can't say that I did this I know I didn't do this I just covered it right it's one of my favourites actually it's one of the new styles that I've got going because I've basically learned how to um, colour it in to bring out certain effects and they love it they love to manipulate the colours I'm using now before I was just using betadine you know R literally just betadine you use when you cut yourself to you know um, prevent any infections betadine tissue paper as you've seen me do it and uh, sometimes spit if I didn't have water on me <laughs> that's the truth look at that anyway it's available for sale I don't really want to sell this particular piece but I will if I have to if there's any buyers uh, give me a, bit, a good offer around 250 to 300 it's yours I don't, really don't want to sell this though because I know I'll never see it again 